Many students are struggling this school year, still adjusting to distance learning, and now one local district is giving students a pass, even if they aren't making the grade. But teachers say it could end up hurting them down the road. CBS 13's Heather Jansen explains in tonight's Learning Curve. The kids are falling behind. Lisa McKee is one of many parents witnessing the struggles of distance learning and school during a pandemic. Their kids aren't doing as well as they were. And Amador County Unified is noticing, telling CBS 13 more students are failing than ever before. Now they're hoping to help by changing the grading scale to allow more students to pass. But some teachers aren't happy. At a Monday night school board meeting, English teacher Cameron Dugan expressed frustration. I and my colleagues take great pride in creating a safe environment for failure. Teachers reportedly received an email from the district saying anything above a 49% in class can be considered a pass. Students who deserve to pass will pass. Students who deserve to fail will fail because I'm a professional and I know how to do my job. Though the district says final grading decisions are still ultimately left up to teachers. But in a statement, the superintendent says, quote, they want to offer students lifelines, especially those experiencing circumstances beyond their control. Some parents say they're thankful for this consideration, as some who were once successful students barely hang on. Others aren't sure it's right for their futures. They're getting robbed for, of their education. The district says the new grading scale is in place for the remainder of the school year.